Good math three practice test for T and ready. Question number 26. The graphs of functions f of x is equal to three raised to the power two x plus one, and that whole term is being uh, in the minus four f from that, and g sub x is equal to e raised to the power 2.2x, intersect at a point. What is the y-coordinate? I circled this or boxed it or whatever because of the fact that it's really easy to do all this work and then you pick the x-coordinate and you get it wrong, and that's very annoying. Don't very annoy yourself and you'll be in good shape. Hopefully for this question, your system invested in a calculator because it's not fun to do without one and I'm not going to spend the time doing it any other way here. So three raised to the 2x. plus one, close parentheses there. Do you have to use parentheses? It depends on the calculator. It's probably in your best interest. Also make sure that when you type in this exponent, you use the directional pad to slide out to the right to get back down to the main original level that, so you're not doing exponents anymore. And then it's minus four, which is not the same as negative four. So make sure you put the minus there. For the other one, you'll just hit the E constant, which is here. I hit second and hit the natural log button. 2.2x. And now I can graph them. That was fun. And then there's another one. They're very close in this range, so I might zoom in a little bit. I can sort of see the intersection here. I wonder what my window range is. So let's do it at five and five. Sometimes it zooms in further than I want and you can always just reset the range to something more meaningful. Now it should be able the one that I can see. So there's a bunch of ways to sort of get a feel for this. The Overall intersection is not exactly the most beautiful set, so I will let the calculator do those calculations as well. I will go to second and then see above trace, it says C-A-L-C, it'll calculate it for you, and I want to calculate the point of intersection. The first curve thing is, is it the first one that was drawn and it's yes, you just find the little, it looks kind of like a really badly done spider, like from really old video games. From the second one, you just want to make sure that it's on there. And guess in this point, there's only, just kind of go where you think they intersect. Uh, it's not as useful here because there's probably only one point of intersection, but occasionally when you have like a quadratic, you'll get multiple points and you'll need to tell which one you're looking for. So you get that. I want the Y value here and it's 2.00. .00. And that's my answer. The question itself actually gives you a reasonable range because it just depends on how your calculator uh, determines certain things. And in this case, that's the way that you can get your answer. So the answer, anything in that range would have been fine. 1.93 to 2.06, I think they give you, but this definitely falls in that range. So there you go.